this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this episode, I am going to be joined by two people. The first person I'm going to be joined by, well, the first bear I'm going to be joined by is Lee Bear. Good morning, Lee Bear. How are you doing today? If you're feeling well today, then um, hold this piece of dirt and sing a little song to the, the piece of dirt uh, to make sure it's feeling well. I assume he's singing a song. He's he's very quiet, but I assume he is singing a song to the dirt. <laughs> it's a it's more interpretive dance rather than a song, though. <laughs> anyway, I'm not only going to be joined by Lee Bear today. I'm also being joined by another friend who's here, Amy Lee. Hello, Amy Lee. <laughs> if you're feeling well today, uh, then you uh, can hold. Tell you what, I know what you can hold. You can hold 15 lovely jubblies, and uh, don't run away and plant them yet. Right, because there is a reason I've thrown you these uh, lovely jubblies, and I'll explain in just one second. But first, I want my breakfast. Actually, tell you what, you can start this uh, this task uh, while we're eating breakfast. Basically, uh, every morning we have a race to the doghouse, and we do it in a different way. And today, I think we should start it with an item hunt. So basically, I want you to hide uh, these uh, lovely jubblies all around my house. And then me and Lee Bear need to hunt to find them, and the first person to find five lovely jubblies, and then run to the, the dog house uh, is going to be the the winner so as quick as you can amy uh, if you go now and uh, hide these all over the the house and uh, while she's doing that we can have our, our breakfast and uh, then go and head to the uh, the love garden so i think i'm gonna go uh, classic stampy breakfast and eat uh, inside uh, of the uh, of the uh, the bedroom today so if you want to put down the the cake for me oh you, you put your little pet down here as well you put your little <laughs> pet we can eat off your uh, little pet dirt nom 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 Ah, absolutely delicious. <laughs> right then, let's go and uh, head to the uh, the love garden then, shall we? No cheating and looking for uh, for lovely, jubbly, love, love petals on your, your way to the uh, the love garden, though. Uh, right then, uh, basically, if the uh, the love garden uh, is a place where I give uh, someone a, a special shout out. I'm sure most of you already knew that, but if you didn't, that's what I'm doing now. And uh, the person I'm adding is Dylan. And I'm adding Dylan because he sent me this picture of an amazing, huge, cuddly, stampy cat plushie uh, that was made for him. Uh, I think it looks absolutely amazing. He looks very happy with it, as I guess uh, he would be, and it just looks like the most cuddly, friendly thing in the world. <laughs> so I wanted to say thank you very much uh, for sending me the uh, the pigeon, Dylan, and welcome uh, to my love garden. Right then, Lee, the, the race should be uh, almost uh, ready to, to begin. So right now, Amy's hiding the, the roses, and uh, she's hiding all 15 of them. But we only need to find five of them. Uh, so the first person to find uh, five lovely jubblies and bring them to the, the doghouse is going to be the, the winner. And then they are going to, to be able to choose uh, which dog is going to be joining us for this uh, episode. So let's just wait here for one second. Oh, here's Amy Lee. <laughs> Looks like they are they are all hidden. Are uh, all of the, the lovely jubblies are ready and hidden around the house? Uh, right then. So uh, we start behind here, Lee. And uh, when I say go, we jump through the, the heart and we begin the race. Right, we can start in three, two, one, go, 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 and no stealing lovely jubblies from the love garden either. <laughs> you got to find ones uh, that have been hidden around the house. Right, let's go and uh, uh, head down this way. Where should I go first? Let's go and look in uh, Henry and Hilda's room. Uh, oh, there's, well, here we go. There's one on the, the floor here. I'm not going to steal uh, Henry's uh, own flower there. Uh, no, sorry, that's uh, Hilda's flower, I think that is. I'm not going to be bad and steal that one. Oh, look, there's one right here. There's one right here in the, the middle of the floor. Let's go and grab that one. Oh, look, there's one down here as well. I've got three already, remember? I I only need to find five of them. Right, there's four, and there's five. I was able to find five of them already, but this is only uh, part one of the race. And oh, there's Lee there charging through. <laughs> I got all five, uh, but I have not won yet. I still uh, need uh, to make my way to the uh, the doghouse. And uh, then I'm going to be the winner. I'm feeling confident, though. It looked like uh, Lee Bear was uh, still looking for uh, uh, the, the flowers uh, once I already had them. So let's go and charge in now. And have I have I won the race? Is Lee Bear here? Nope, Lee Bear is not here yet, which means that I am the winner. Yay! <laughs> We're pretty even with these races, to be honest. It seems like uh, we kind of take turns winning sometimes. But there we go. I was able to, to win today. And uh, so I am going to take uh, with me today. Uh, let's have... 
Ah, uh, oh, I can never decide. I can never decide. Anyway, um, let's have Flippy with us today, shall we? And oh, Flippy's right here. And oh, hello, Lee Bear. <laughs> Looks like you got the the five flowers uh, in the the end anyway. So uh, yeah, we can uh, we can take them with us. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is uh, actually heading to the um. Uh, to the the fun land uh, to begin building a brand new mini game and this is a game which I am really looking forward to, to building and there's a few reasons I want to build it one I think it looks cool and uh, two I think it's gonna be fun to play but the main reason I'm really looking forward to, to, to playing it and building it is because the name of the game is one of the best puns I think I've ever thought of and I know I've not thought of many good puns I've thought of lots of puns but not many good ones but I like this one <laughs> So the aim of the game is basically we're going to build a massive alligator and then the alligator's teeth are going to be on pistons and so you can pull levers to move them up and down. And the way the game's going to work is that one person's going to rearrange which teeth are up and which teeth are down and then the other person who wasn't looking has to then try and work out which teeth have switched places. And so they are investigating. So we're going to call the game Investigator. Do you get it? Because because it's an alligator and the game's called Investigator because he's investigating. Inve Is this a good pun, isn't it? That that's a good pun. No, no? Did you not? Are you shaking your heads? <laughs> I, I I was happy uh, to to come up with the uh, the name of the uh, the game for this, <laughs> and I think it will be good fun as well. So it's basically it's kind of like a memory game. Uh, but uh, not really because uh, you also need to not only remember which teeth have switched but like which lever switches which teeth uh, I don't know how uh, much sense this is going to make uh, but hopefully once I've uh, built the the big alligator and had a, a chance to properly explain uh, how the the game works uh, it will all make a, a little bit more sense to you so what I've done uh, over here is I've basically tunneled out uh, a whole big uh, massive area uh, for us to, to be able to, to play the game because I have been uh, running out uh, of uh, space in my uh, um, uh, my fun land a little bit and oh looks like um looks like we found an apple where there's no trees here <laughs> how did this how did this random apple get here this is a little bit weird um unfortunately it's not a cake so I don't really want it um oh did you want this this apple uh, I, I guess you can have it I'm not I'm not really a big fan of fruit to be honest I, I like I like cherries I like cherries when they're on top of cakes but <laughs> I'm not really uh, normally uh, a big fan of apples so you can uh, go ahead and uh, you can tuck into that and um Amy? Amy? Are you okay? Amy? Has she? Listen, I think I think she's fallen asleep. Um Okay, well, I suppose it was quite a long run over to the, the fun land. Um Amy seems to have fallen to sleep, Lee Bear. Um this is a, a little bit weird. Uh, I don't have any buckets of water to, to splash over her. Um well tell you what, let, let, let's not wake her up. Let's her uh, let's let her have a, a nice little sleep. Tell you what, while I begin building the, the alligator, do you want to build a, a little hut for her to, to be able to, to sleep in? <laughs> so she's not just standing out here in the, the open. That was a a little bit weird. Anyway, this is where I am going to be building the, the game. You can kind of see where these torches are. I use them to kind of mark out uh, the area. So it's going to be pretty big. And so the main part of the game is going to be a, a massive alligator, uh, which is going to, uh, it's not going to look scary. I think it's going to be quite a, a friendly one uh, with a big toothy grin. And then there's also going to be the investigator's hut down here, <laughs> where the, the investigator is going to hide in. And then a whole load of levers here, uh, which are going to switch the teeth. And then under the ground, there's going to be lots and lots and lots of redstone yay everyone cheers only joking <laughs> there is gonna be lots of redstone uh, but all it is gonna be uh, is straight trails uh, leading to to where all of the the teeth are going to be but do not panic do not panic i'm gonna go and do uh, mostly the redstone uh, while i'm not recording and then i'm just gonna explain how it works because there is gonna be like it's going to be crazy. It's going to be like redstone spaghetti all over the place. It's going to be redstone everywhere. And so I'm not going to uh, make you sit through watching me trying to build it all. So uh, first things first, I'm going to go and do these... Um uh, yeah, I'm gonna do these. Uh, this is the the front of the the mouth. This is kind of like the the bottom jaw I'm doing. So if I kind of build this uh, along here, I think these needs to go uh, 11 blocks along. So let's go and count along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be the the bottom jaw of the the alligator. So uh, are you getting um, a little bit of a better idea just how big <laughs> this thing is going to be? And then there's gonna be probably about. 
I, don't know, I think about 10 teeth, maybe more than that, probably about 12 to 14 teeth uh, that are going to be able to move up and down separately. So that's where the uh, the real challenge is going to be in building, uh, is making it so that all of the, the teeth uh, are going to be able to, to be moved separately. So let's go and uh, build up here a little bit. And uh, then I'm going to go and do the, the top jaw as well. And uh, then I'm going to go and start uh, filling in the, the mouth and adding the, the teeth in as well. And uh, trying to make it look a little bit more like uh, an actual alligator. So if I build up uh, here, so I think the, the mouth can be about two blocks wide. And uh, all I need to do on the, the top now is basically copy uh, what I did in the, the bottom. And then this is going to be the, the mouth of the alligator. And uh, then we can do the eyes. And uh, the entire thing is going to be kind of like as if it's in a big swamp, essentially. We're going to uh, do like a... A pit of water uh, and then we can put some lily pads in it uh, put some sugar cane around the outside kind of like pretend it's like the uh, the tall grass you can see in alligator swamps uh, so yeah it should look quite cool the only thing is uh, to to make sure that it's not too big and doesn't take up too much ground uh, the body is going to be very small the body of the alligator is actually going to be smaller than the head so it's going to be I guess it kind of looks like a, a cute baby alligator with like a, a huge head uh, but a, a tiny body and uh, one I think it will just look cool and funny uh, but also I think it just means that uh, yeah this alligator is not going to be uh, too big because uh, the body is uh, essentially just there uh, to, to hide uh, all of the, the redstone. So let's go and uh, carry on uh, building uh, my way up here. And how's, um, how's Lee Bear doing? Oh, look at that! There's a little there's a little hut down there for, for Amy Lee. I'm going to have to go and uh, uh, check that out in a, a little bit and see if she's cosy or see if she's woken up yet. It's weird. I've never seen someone just fall to sleep in the, the middle of the, the day like that. I think I might have uh, tied her out when she was running around hiding the, the lovely jubblies and things. <laughs> right, so this is the uh, kind of the, the top jaw here. I guess I can kind of uh, build up a, a little bit higher and uh, then this can kind of be the the actual head and then this is where we can uh, add the the eyes in I think I'm going to kind of go uh, one in uh, the whole way around here like this uh, just to make it so it doesn't look too boxy I know I'm building in Minecraft out of blocks, so it's already going to look <laughs> a little bit boxy, uh, but I don't want it to look, uh, yeah, too ridiculously boxy. So I'm going to try and uh, round it uh, like this a little bit uh, and go along here. And then if I go and fill in the, the entire middle, then that will be the top. And then I can jump back down and uh, add in the, the jaw because I'm not going to do it all out of a uh, green wall. I know I'm placing a lot of green wall, <laughs> but it's not going to be uh, entirely out of green wall. I'm um, also uh, going to have the, the mouth. I'm going to have like some pinky uh, on the inside because the inside of your mouth is a uh, kind of pink. And I'm going to add in a, a little tongue as well. So uh, it might look a little bit silly, uh, but I think it will be quite funny. So uh, let's go and uh, place this uh, uh, final few rows uh, of green wool here. And then if we jump down, let's have a look at it and see whether it does actually uh, look like a, an alligator or not. Hopefully it does, because it's probably a little bit too late to, to change it now. I'm going to add a, a few torches uh, just so I can see what I've built. And oh, this looks... Um, this looks wonky. This doesn't look right, if you ask me. Um, no, it seems to go out further one side uh, rather than the, the other side. Let me go and count along here. Oh, no, I've not gone out wide enough uh, on this side. You can see I go out further there uh, than I do on this side here. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. All I need to do uh, is build this wall uh, along here like this and then get rid of the, the other wall, and it should match up. And then in a minute, I can go and do the, the same up on the, the top as well. So it needs to kind of go uh, like this. And uh, then I can break away these uh, blocks here and then do the, the same on the on the top. So this shouldn't take uh, too long to, to sort around. And then we can start adding some details in. I'm going to add like kind of like ridges. If you look on the, the back of an alligator, uh, I mean, if you look at a picture of a back of an alligator, I don't mean go up to an alligator and start studying its back. <laughs> Excuse me, alligator. Don't mind me. I'm just going to go and study your back. Yeah, if you look at the, uh, the back of an alligator in a picture, uh, you can see uh, that they are... Um, they're kind of bumpy a little bit. They're not like smooth. <laughs> they're a little, yeah, they're kind of like bumpy animals. So I'm going to try and make it uh, the, the same here. So let's go and uh, pile up to the, the top up here. Uh, end of pole up. Oh, no, that wasn't very good. Uh, hopefully if I do it a little bit further. Oh, no, have I gone too far? <laughs> I'm only trying to go slightly higher and I'm really failing here, aren't I? Right. If I stand about here and then do it like that, does that look good? I don't know if I've gone too far to the, the other side. I'm just ender pearling uh, either side <laughs> over the, the top here. Right, there we go. So I've now landed on the, the top here. Uh, so what I need to do is uh, basically extend it uh, so it goes uh, one block uh, further out on this side and then it's going to, to match up uh, with down below. So if I just kind of go and uh, do this uh, top row here, 
and uh, then I can go and uh, jump down and uh, do the same underneath here and then I just need to once again uh, destroy the the other row and it should finally uh, all be be looking good so uh, while I uh, do this Lee Bear uh, do you want to build a, a fence uh, around the the entire area uh, one because we need one for the the game anyway uh, but also because we seem to uh, have a, a little bit of a, a googly invasion at the moment <laughs> and it might be a, a good idea uh, just to, to fence the uh, the area off uh, so then that way we'll be a little bit safer so I'm gonna go and put some uh, some torches around up here uh, just so I can uh, light up and uh, see what it is that um that I'm doing and uh, then I'm gonna go and start as I said building the the inside uh, of the the mouth so I guess I can go and just do it straight away uh, with a uh, with pink wool and oh it looks like I need to, to grab some pink wool I think I do have some uh, in the the chest over here hopefully I do and then I can go and start filling in the the mouth here we go I got loads of pink wool here hopefully uh, this is gonna be enough uh, to fill it all in actually I've got a uh, some more uh, spared green wool as well and I seem to be running out quite quickly as I can go and grab some of this as well so you can see how it kind of looks a little bit like an alligator it's gonna go down lower down because as I said, it's going to be uh, essentially in a, in a pit of water. And so there's going to be, uh, it's going to be kind of like it's emerging from the, the water, uh, which I think uh, will look pretty cool. Uh, so let's just go and uh, fill all of this in here with the, the pink wool. And uh, then I can go and uh, add in the, the little tongue at the, uh, the back of the mouth. So it's not going to be uh, a particularly realistic uh, looking alligator. Uh, it's going to be more of a, a cartoony one. Uh, but I think it will look quite cool. I think it will look quite fun. I didn't want it to be a scary alligator. <laughs> and it's going to look weird as well. Because uh, once I put all the, the teeth in, because uh, you're going to be able to, to switch them around with uh, pistons and uh, kind of make them go up and down. Like, at first, when they're all up, it will look okay. And then you can, like, make it so, like, five of the teeth randomly drop down, like, kind of like they're dancing. Uh, so it's probably uh, going to look a, a little bit silly, to be honest. <laughs> right, so let's go and uh, carry on filling this uh, whole bottom bit in here. And uh, then I basically need to do the uh, the same uh, up at the uh, the top as well. So I'm going to go uh, around to the, the back here. And I'm just going to go and pile up so I can jump into the, the mouth of the uh, the alligator. Once again, uh, not something that I recommend doing in, in real life. <laughs> and uh, we can now go and uh, do basically the same, uh, but at the uh, the top of the, the mouth. So if I go and build this uh, a whole way along here, uh, all the way to the, the front, and uh, then we can go and uh, add in uh, some of the uh, the teeth. And I think I think adding the, the teeth in is going to be the thing that is going to make it really look like an alligator. At the moment, it probably looks like... I don't know, kind of like a big lizard. I guess that's essentially what an alligator is, but, you know, it doesn't look particularly chompy right now. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's something that's going to be, you know, chewing on things like alligators generally do. But uh, once I add in uh, all of the, the teeth, it's going to hopefully uh, start looking uh, much more like a, a proper alligator. I'm actually hoping uh, that I have uh, enough pink wool here. I seem to be uh, running out, but I think I uh, I underestimated uh, just how big uh, this alligator is going to actually turn out being. So yeah, it looks like I am going to, to run out uh, a little bit, uh, but hopefully I'm going to have enough uh, so you can get a good idea of how it's going to look like. Actually, I haven't added in the, the tongue yet. Uh, so when I add in the, the tongue, I can actually go and get rid of a, a bunch of this uh, pink wool. And I can hear some growling. I think we might have had a, a, a zombie spawned inside of the, the alligator. Right, so I've got a bit more red wool here. So I can get rid of some of this pink at the back and uh, make this into uh, a tongue and uh, we might have enough to fill it in. And hello there. <laughs> hello down there. I'm just going to leave him. I'm not going to even bother going after him. Oh no, he's going after me though. He's going after me. Right, let's just try and knock him back. There we go. You can get him, Flippy. Flippy is one of my most powerful dogs that I have. Flippy will have no trouble taking him out. Good girl, Flippy. Good girl. Right, so let's go and uh, uh, build this tongue uh, going along. I guess I'll do it around the, the top of the, the mouth like this. Uh, it's a little bit weird. It's a bit weird having the the tongue on the the roof of your mouth like this but i think it looks okay and look at that i think that was look that's exactly the perfect amount of wool that i needed that was very lucky i promised you that was not planned i did not count <laughs> uh, how much wool i would need so here we go that looks a little bit like a, a big alligator's mouth. It looks like a really old alligator that's lost all of its teeth. It looks like a, like an old man alligator. <laughs> right, let's go and uh, add the, the teeth in then, shall we? Uh, so it won't look so ridiculous. I'm actually using um uh, quartz uh, for the teeth uh, rather than... um. A uh, white wall. Uh, just I think it does kind of look like a big tooth. Do you think that kind of looks a bit like a big tooth? 
I, th I think it kind of does. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have some uh, along the, the bottom like this. And uh, they're basically going to almost alternate between whether they're on the, the top of the mouth uh, or the, the bottom. So uh, hopefully it should all uh, fit in quite nicely. So let's go and uh, put in some teeth here. Uh, they also can't be too close uh, because they're all going to have trails of redstone leading from them. If they were right next to each other, it would be very difficult uh, to, to do the, the redstone later on. So let's go and uh, add some teeth in the, the top of the mouth like this as well. Actually, I'm going to do the these a little bit further forward I'm gonna do it uh, there and there as well there we go that looks more like uh, some gnashing teeth doesn't it and uh, then we can go and add uh, some in the the middle around here uh, so I've got them there uh, yeah I guess if I do it uh, I could do it maybe about here and then uh, on this side about here as well and I might add in some more back here and uh, back here as well. That kind of looks uh, quite good, doesn't it? It looks a little bit uh, like a, an actual crocodile's mouth. Uh, so I can then uh, go and uh, let's put these torches, let's put them behind the teeth so then uh, the torches are kind of hidden and then do some down the, the back down here as well uh, just so it's all lit up while it's night time. And uh, then I guess I can go and carry on uh, building the, the head. I might go and uh, add in the, the eyes as well because it looks a little bit weird right now uh, not having uh, any eyes. So let me go and uh, let's see if I've got any chance of being able to, to end a pearl. Let's see if I can do this uh, in one attempt if I aim about here and aim up and throw that doesn't look too bad actually I don't know if I've thrown it too far forward and nope absolutely perfect right on the the top of the the alligator so I don't know why I got rid of those torches actually let's just do uh, one straight row of them uh, down the the middle I hate having messy torches <laughs> and so let's go and build the uh, the head back uh, a little bit and uh, then uh, we can go and uh, add in the the eyes and uh, kind of like the the little nose as well uh, well kind of just some pokey out bits uh, that are going to be on the the front of the the alligator and then that way uh, hopefully it's going to look a little bit more like a, like a real alligator so I'm going to do the the eyes uh, about here and I'm just going to do uh, one on each side of course and so if I just sort of build up like this and then break away this block and then do two blocks in the the back here like this and then I got some black wool here and I can just use the uh, the quartz as well uh, for the the white in the eyes and so I can do one down here like that and then if I go and do the the same on the the other side uh, so it should be about here then I can just go and build the the green wall around the outside uh, up here down here and then the the back as well and uh, then on the the front here I'm just going to go and add in some uh, kind of pokey up bits uh, which are going to be uh, kind of uh, like the uh, the nose of the the alligator so uh, this is basically the uh, the head of the the alligator uh, finished and so then the body is just going to kind of slope down uh, just to the the back of the the fence there so as I said uh, the um uh, yeah, the, the head of the, the alligator is going to be much bigger than the, the body. Uh, but while I'm up here, I might do some I might do some googly hunting. <laughs> it's quite fun being up in this big safe place uh, where the googlies can't get to you. And then you can just go and take them all out. Let's see if I can hit the, the skeleton. There we go. My aim's getting a little bit better with the, the bow and arrow. I used to not be very good at it. Any more, any more googlies around the area? I'm a little bit disappointed there's no more googlies. I was enjoying shooting them all. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go and jump downstairs, shall we? And uh, let's go and uh, see what it looks like from the, the front. Uh, if I pile up a little bit higher, uh, then I should be able to get a good view. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. Let me go and break away this dirt block down here. And uh, let me go and see uh, what it looks like uh, from the uh, the front uh, if I build up a little bit higher and uh, see whether it actually looks good or not. I think, though, it's actually looking uh, pretty cool. There we go. That looks like quite good. That looks like a pretty cool looking alligator. And so we're going to add the body in and some legs. Then of course water all the way down here uh, to make it look like uh, it's coming out of a, a swamp. But overall I am pretty happy uh, with the uh, the progress. Uh, something that I do want to quickly do though is go and uh, check on Amy Lee and see if she's uh, uh, see if she's woken up. Amy! Amy are you here? A Amy Lee? Oh look she's got a little house here. She's still asleep! She's still down here sleeping. Uh, Amy, you've been sleeping for an entire day, an entire night now. You know what? We we'll leave her be. We we'll leave her there to, to rest for a, a little bit longer. <laughs> I don't know what's got into her. And there we go. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good from the this side, actually. I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy with the uh, the alligator uh, that yeah that uh, that I've built. And so in the next episode, I'm going to go and try and probably do some work on the body and build the the swamp and things, and uh, also do a little bit of a start uh, on the uh, the mechanics uh, to make the uh, the game uh, actually work. Uh, but sadly, uh, we have just about uh, run out of time in this episode here. As always, I'll be leaving a link in the description to the next episode which will be online very soon but for now i want to thank you all very much for watching and i will see you all later bye